Okay, now I'm going to do the uh, mining tutorial. Okay, which way? Oh yeah. Tutorials. That way. Yeah, follow the yellow. Follow the, follow the golden yellows. Yellow. What's over there? Oh, that's just the mining stuff. All the ores. Actual what we want in here behind all this foliage. Now, what have we got? We've got two. Done this one already. M1 and M2. Not we can see it there. M1, M2. M1 just it's a surface scanning one. Now we want main mining one. Spacebar. And alt. Mining tutorial. Start tutorial. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. Isaac Newton, physicist. Welcome to the basic mining tutorial. I am Ophelia, your guide. In this tutorial you will learn how to locate and mine ores. To begin, select the scanner tool, tool scanner underscore tool underscore index slash tool. Three. You've activated the scanner. This piece of technology will pinpoint or at a distance. It is your primary tool for locating profitable veins of ore. On the right hand side is the distance, in meters, at which you can scan. Using this you'll narrow down your search. The center graph reveals any detected ores. Each is represented on the graph by a dot and line colored for that specific ore. Mm -hmm. Your starting scanner has a range limit of 200 meters. This can be expanded through acquiring talents. I've gone ahead and marked a waypoint for you to reach. Move towards it while letting your scanner do its work. Notice that as you walk the scanner pulses. This happens automatically every few meters. When this occurs, it will update the graph on the scanner, giving you a real-time view on how far veins of ore are relative to your position. You can also filter the ores the scanner detects. Press tab to learn how. Press tab to learn how. Pressing tab locks the HUD so you can interface directly with the scanner. Click on the graph to continue. Click. This is the scanner calibration screen. Through this menu you'll be able to customize exactly how your scanner will behave by adjusting the filtering options. In this tutorial we will only be scanning for tier 1 ores. To continue click on the other tier columns to disable them. And tier 5. Now that you have disabled those tiers they will not be appearing on the scanner. You can customize the filtering options as needed to target specific resources. Try it yourself. Let's refine your search even further. Disable quartz to continue. Now take a look above the tier columns at the range option. By clicking long or short range, you will swap the scan diameter of your scanner. We'll be adjusting that later when we are closer to some ore. Now close the scanner calibration screen with tab. Tab, okay. You'll notice that your displayed scanner now has an additional row of icons underneath it. This represents all of the materials you disabled on your filter. Adjusting that filter will likewise change the displayed materials in this row. Keep your scanner active and head towards the next waypoint to continue. Next waypoint is there. We. <laughs> You can also trigger a pulse manually. This can be useful when stationary or in tight confines. To continue, trigger a pulse by holding the modifier key and clicking the mouse button. Holding the modifier key, which is ALT. 
and then a left mouse button. Using manual scan will typically be most useful when underground where movement is less free and the need for precise scanning is higher. Let's continue, move to the next waypoint. Speedy. Think of scanning for or as a game of hot and cold. You're trying to find the best location by investigating your region to locate the strongest potential place to dig. Doing so is most easily accomplished by picking a spot on your minimap and then checking the cardinal directions around it. Start by heading towards the waypoint I've set to the north. North, 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 north is that way. As you travel, monitor your scanner graph to keep an eye on the relative position of the ore you're hunting. You can see here we're just over 100 meters from the ore. Head to the southern waypoint next. Southern. Note that you are now almost 150 meters from the ore. This is too far. Head back towards the okay. waypoint at the antenna. From there, we'll check east and west. Okay, I see. So 100 now meters. Now that you're back at your starting location, meters. head to the waypoint I've set to the east of you. It's going further away. That's further away. 150 nearly. It seems you're now even further away from the ore. Head to the western waypoint and see if we can get closer to it. Whoa. Okay, so that's 101-ish. 100. 99-ish. <laughs> We're less than 100 meters from the ore now, making this a good candidate for a digging spot. Okay. Now we'll teach you how to orient yourself via angles and altitude. When you wish to continue, activate your flashlight. L for flashlight. With your flashlight activated, you will be able to gauge your relative position using the headings it displays on your HUD. This can help you to precisely okay. orient yourself your to a heading and there. keep your digging organized. Right. Note the highlighted data in the top right of your screen. That it's... represents your current altitude. This will help you determine how far to dig and to know your current depth underground. When digging, it is important to do so on an angle near 40 to 60 degrees so you can climb back out later. Okay. If it's too steep, you won't be able to climb. You can 40, dig using the scanner tool. 60. Tool scanner underscore tool underscore index slash tool, directional scanner tool or the mining tool. Tool mining underscore tool underscore index slash tool. So Go ahead and dig down towards the waypoint buoy to a depth of 50 meters by clicking or holding your mouse button on the terrain. Uh, mining tool, uh, scanner tool 3, directional 4, mining tool 2. That one. Did you say, um, give, me, give us an angle? Let's see, it's between 40 and 60. Let's go for 50. That's cool. So L, the light, gives us that um, degrees, angle, degree, degree, angle. Cool. Okay, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50.
go down 50, I think they actually clock. We're at 102, right, it's now 101. Top right there, at 100. Let's so we'll see if we can actually climb out still. Yes, we can. What the hell? What's that? Core unit. <laughs> that must be that uh, waypoint thing. <laughs> Must be related, linked to the waypoint. Anyway, can okay, I dig in? If you ever get stuck while digging because the hole is too narrow, don't forget that you can use the tool and enlarge the hole around the edges. If you wish, you can activate auto dig on your tool by pressing the middle mouse button. Keep digging until you reach a depth of 50 meters. My uh, angle is now at 35. Oh, shit, 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 shit. 50. 50. Depth of 50 meters. Can't remember where we were. <laughs> when did we start? 84 meters. It's got some. Maybe 60. Watch the degrees. 50 degrees. appears at various depths based on the value of the resource. Some elements such as coal can be found near the surface while the rarest types are found deep underground and will require effort to extract. Eight meters. Keep it. Good grief. What am I doing? Let's take a break from digging for a few moments and try out a new tool. When you're ready to continue, open your inventory. Good grief. Right, inventory. Locate the icon for the flatten tool within your inventory. Click and drag it to the tool slot and drop it into slot 9, which should currently be empty. Afterwards, close your inventory. It's got the repaired tool in it, but it doesn't matter. This tool works by flattening the terrain at the target reticle location, providing a completely flat plane on which you can walk. This drastically increases the speed at which you can dig horizontally, and will improve your efficiency. Activate TH Flatten Tool. Tool with wisely chosen talents, the Flatten Tool can make larger tunnels than the mining tool on its own, and it can keep your tunnels perfectly flat. Flatten the end of your tunnel so you have a door you can easily access later so that you can find your way back to the surface. Landmarks make for useful orientation points. All right, look at that. We'll continue once you've flattened enough ground. Ooh, freaky. Oh, that's not going to be good. Okay, jump check enables me to uh, get out. Hmm. Nine. What does she consider to be enough ground? Through use of this tool, you'll be able to create massive and organized mining tunnels. This is awesome. Using the flatten tool by aligning yourself to one of the cardinal directions on your minimap makes it both fast and easy to locate or and to set up your own tunnels without becoming lost and confused. It's gonna be great for under underground We're bases. We're close to the ore now. Please activate the scanner tool next. Okay. 
Whatever you say, lady. Press tab and click the scanner graph. Great. Now activate short range mode by clicking it. The short range mode of the scanner is extremely useful when you have narrowed down the distance to your target. Its maximum range is a mere 50 meters, which allows for much greater precision and efficiency. You can also quickly change range outside of the UI by simply holding the modifier key and using the mouse wheel. Press tab to unlock your HUD and let's see if you can get even closer to your ore. Try wandering a few meters and then scan manually for ores by holding the modifier key and clicking the mouse button. Alt. Try using manual scan a few more times while you wander and note the position 74, of the ore. Look at that. When you wish to move on, reach the waypoint buoy by digging or flattening terrain and will continue. Let's, let's flatten terrain. I like that tall. Oops. Might be quicker just to dig normally, to tell the truth. Is that not allowing me? Middle mouse button. Auto dig. Is in on some more we'll need to pinpoint its exact location Activate in on your directional else scanner with its hot key usually this is four Hang on. how can I tell what this thing is alarm security alarm <laughs> that's interesting anyway gotta do this other thing when underground and at close range to your target, or it can often be difficult to tell precisely which direction to dig to locate it. That's where the directional scanner comes into play. When equipped, any or your reticle detects within 35 meters will be detected. With talents, the range can be increased to 50 meters. As you move the targeting reticle around, you'll eventually notice bars that shrink and grow on your scanner graph and a telltale sound of static. This indicates there is or in the direction you are currently pointing. The larger the graph peak, the closer it is. A tip, try to scan slowly, and in a zigzag pattern. This is more efficient than randomly pointing in different directions, and will have a higher degree of success. We'll continue when you've detected a source of ore. There it is. You found the direction to mine. Scan and dig until you see a green outline on some terrain. This represents the ore you're here to mine. To collect ore, 
Switch to your mining tool with its hotkey. This is usually too. Clearing terrain around the ore will reveal more of the vein. I think I may have unleashed and un un unearthed the. Uh, <laughs> I think that might be related to the, the ore. Probably wasn't supposed to do that. Okay. Let's use the it's a harvest tool, it's a mine tool, scanner. Why is that mining when I've got the scanner selected? I've got the scanner selected and it's mining. This is interesting. Broke the tutorial. And mine is still working. Stupid thing. To, to scan manually, you got to do alt, alt, click. Okay, so judging by that graph, it's about 18 away. If I go here, what if I'm, I bet I'm right on it. Ought. Yeah, it's the same. Interesting. Ought. Ought. It's around here. Might be down from here. Yes, yeah, so that's gone up to 30. It's underneath this. Okay, I need to drill 
went to mine. It's around here somewhere. Scan now. Alt. Uh, still the same. Okay, you can keep that uh, scanner selected and it uh, um, still mine. Okay, mm. there's no change in location. I'm getting deeper and deeper. Maybe it's actually there's. I bet it's this way. Together Ooh. or place your targeting reticle on the highlighted vein. <laughs> then hold down the mouse button. That's it. Your I think. brush will start purple and slowly that. increase in size. That is it. Okay, if I do When you are scan. happy with the radius, simply let go of the mouse button and the ore will be collected if you have room in your nano pack. Yeah, okay, if you lady. are out of room, Chomp, lady. no ore will be harvested. Veins can get quite large and will sometimes require several trips to completely collect. Okay. You can so adjust much. the size of your digging brush. Larger brushes allow you to carve chunks out of terrain at a much faster pace when precision is not needed. To resize your brush, press the modifier key and use the mouse wheel. Alton, it's not actually doing anything. You can you can adjust the size of your mining brush on the mining tool. Larger brushes allow for you to carve chunks out of the train at a much faster pace. To continue resize the mining brush, press the modifier key. No, it's control in this case. Control scroll. You now have an understanding of how to use the mining tool, scanner tool. Tool scanner underscore tool underscore index slash tool flatten tool tool flattening underscore tool underscore index slash tool and the directional scanner tool. Easy for you to say. The last step in our tutorial is for you to collect the ore. Go ahead and collect a volume of 500 liters from the vein. Does it say it's gathering? So we're going to look at the inventory. Oh, that was gathering. Sixty-five liters. 
No, it wasn't up updating that as I was going on. What was it? That little bar saying 13% now. What have we done? 225, that's not bad. Two hundred and twenty four, it says there. Let's have a look. Two hundred and seventy three. Oh. Ah, right, the uh, the info on screen there doesn't update as you do it. Gonna be fun trying to get out of here, trying to get back to the um, exit. <laughs> I'm not sure if it. I'm gonna probably have to dig my way out, I think. <laughs> Damn ass. Oh. What have we got here? 486. Mine the actual ore. What do we want? Must have done it. What You've we got? proven you're able you to go. locate and harvest raw minerals efficiently, and it is my judgment that you are ready to tackle this for real. To exit this module, head back to the surface and use the teleporter. I've marked it for you. Head back to the surface. Oh, great. <laughs> Hopefully, I can still get out this way. Run! There you go. I think we're good. Spoke too soon. Ah, oh, there you go. You actually move pretty fast through this. <laughs> so that's mining. Excellent. And there's the exit. Good luck using your newfound mining skills. Thank and you, lady. Don't forget that improving your mining talents will improve your performance immensely. Now, work on those talents. I have started. I have actually added more. Added. I got, got those going. All skill points in mining related skills. Excellent. You are now ready to go hunt for your free tile. And it's that's probably also a good time for you to deploy your speeder now, oh, so God. that you can travel Shut faster. Shut up, lady. If you or will. want to do so, go <laughs> in your inventory point. and double click on the speeder blueprint, then deploy it in the world. Now, to proceed further, I'll be waiting until you... Shut up. Okay, well, that's the end of that tutorial. <laughs> On to the next. Uh, thank you for watching. Actually, let's go to the start. Yeah, it's very bright in here. Wee, <laughs> wee. There you go. Mining Institute, mining tutorial done. All mining tutorials done. Mining related tutorials, two of which: surface scanning and mining. And uh, 
Thank you for watching.